Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a bad USB. Alright, and how to protect yourself against these type of attacks. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to be using the Arduino board as my USB. So let's start. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to have is a USB, all right? A USB that can register itself as a keyboard. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be using the Arduino USB, uh, the Leonardo one. I'll be linking it down in the description. All right. So once you do, we need to install the Arduino um, IDE. So uh, I'll be linking the IDE down in the description. We go to downloads and you install this one, the hourly builds. If you're on Windows, you choose on Windows. If you're in Mac, you choose the Mac version. If you're in Linux, of course, you can choose the Linux version. After we do that, we need to program it, all right? So in today's video, I'm going to be using this script. So you'll be asking yourself, what is this? So basically... Um, uh, consider this as a programming language, all right? But it's for ducky USBs. Uh, but we in today's video, because I'm I'm using the Arduino Leonardo board, I'm gonna be converting the ducky code into the Arduino uh, code using a converter. That I'm gonna show you guys it in a second. All right, so I'll, I'll just give you a quick overview of the commands that we're gonna use. Uh, be uh, like if you google it if you google ducky commands for example ducky commands cheat sheet you'll get every uh, thing you need about these ducky commands um so the first command is gonna uh, is gonna delay uh, the usb for one millisecond and then it's gonna start uh, the run window um uh, then it, we're gonna delay it another time then we're gonna start PowerShell. Then we're gonna press enter. Uh, then we're gonna delay it again and Alt Y to skip the yes option. And in this string is gonna do all the work. So what you need to modify in the script is the URL you want this USB to download and the um, file name that you want the thing you downloaded it to be named as. And make sure you uh, put the extension name in here and this script, uh, this script will do all the wor uh, work of course Windows Defender is gonna detect it so we're gonna turn off Windows Defender in here by running this command and yeah let's get started by the way uh, you can do a lot of cool things you can check hack5 uh, forms you'll get a lot of script uh, scripts or their github repository well uh, of course we're hackers so we're gonna be on the cyber security side of these USBs. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is copy the code in here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go ahead to this website. It's a converter that will convert our ducky code into the Arduino code. It's the best converter out, out there, all right, in my opinion, because some converters don't copy the whole script for some reason or they don't convert it um, fully. Alright, so I'm just going to paste it in here. And in here, all you need to do is modify the f uh, the output. And, uh, of course, the URL that we want our target to execute. Uh, by the way, this code is going to... Uh, I'll be linking it for you guys too. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so in here, the URL that we want to download. So, for example, uh, I'll go ahead and copy this link. For example, we're going to download the thing that I'm going to do is so uh, is provide a URL for the Arduino board to download in here. I'm downloading my malicious file. Let's say it's not malicious. I'm just using a normal program. You can, of course, uh, download a reverse shell and get a shell in the system. Um, then we're going to name the file that we're going to download. For example, let's make it not suspicious. Update. Uh, exe and now we can uh, press on compile 
make sure you, you have uh, Arduino attached in here then press compile then press on copy all right once we do that you'll launch Arduino um, IDE once you do that all right guys I have launched my Arduino IDE so the first thing that you need to do we, before doing anything just go to on tools manage libraries after we do that, it should load. Just give it a second in here. All right. All right. It's for some reason it's downloading libraries right now. Let's just give it a second. All right. Uh, and you need to download an extra library. I already installed it. I'll show you guys how to download it. Just give me a second. For some reason, my Arduino IDE is kind of slow, but it's totally fine. Uh, it's called the HID uh, project. So uh, what you need to do is just search it up. All right. Just give me a sec. Uh, my laptop is kind of slow for some reason. All right, as you can see in here, Instead of update, you guys will have uh, install. So you click on install and get installed. After you do that, you connect your Arduino board and you go on tools board. Make sure the, uh, for me, I'm using the Leonardo board. So I have it checked in here. I have Leonardo checked and make sure the port is your, uh, your Arduino is checked too. All right, guys, now I'm going to paste the code in here and once you paste your code you just go to sketch and upload now let's just wait for it until it compiles and uploads as you can see it got uploaded it got compiled so basically that was it so now if I unplug my bad USB and plug it back in Let's see if it downloads it. It should work for you guys. And like I said, there there's a lot of code out there. Now I plugged my bad USB. As you can see, it will bypass everything. Alright guys, so I'm going to be plugging this, uh, my Ar Arduino board in front of you guys. Uh, you'll do this in a real life scenario. So as you can see, this is it physically. You can print a 3D board for it uh, using a 3D printer so you can make it look more realistic. Or you can just buy a ready rubber ducky from uh, hack5.com. So this is our Arduino board. The board is really cheap. You can find it on Amazon. So let me just plug it in. So you'll do this in a real life scenario. Let me just plug it in. So it's basically a USB. Oh, it's not plugged. All right, just plugged it in. Now look, it's gonna execute the commands. It's gonna run. As you can see, it started running the application uh, that I to uh, told my Arduino to install. And as you can see, we installed it. And of course, you can replace this application with a reverse shell, and it'll automatically run and everything. So now I'm going to show you guys how um, uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to protect yourself against these type of attacks. All right. Um, of course, like I said, you can um, let the URL to be a, a shell. For example, you can let the bad USB install a shell in the system or any other thing. All right. So let's let me show you the protection methods. Let me go in here. So the first method that I'm going to be showing you guys is a USB port blocker. You can find these on Amazon or on your in your local stores. So basically a USB blocker acts like a USB port. Uh, you insert it and the USB gets blocked. So if someone plugs in their USB, it's not going to work. Uh, this is not the best method because it can be manually removed by the guy who's going to attack your computer. So now the Second method is uh, using USB guard. So basically, USB guard acts like a firewall. 
And now we're gonna, uh, the next method is Duck Hunter. So basically, Duck Hunter is a script that stops uh, typing speeds, uh, re really fast typing speeds from executing on your command. As, uh, as we saw right here, when, when we executed our Arduino um, bad USB, it truly typed in the commands really quick. So if I have my Duck Hunter running, it will block this. Uh, like I said, this is not uh, this is also not the best option. Uh, now this is a really good option, which is a firewall, US USG. I'm gonna be linking it down in the description too. Um, then I'm gonna be showing you guys a manage engine. So basically, manage engine blacklists and whitelists USBs that connects uh, to your computer. It's really professional. Uh, so basically. It blocks any other USB devices that are not authorized on the system. And yeah, that was all about it, guys. Uh, tell me down below in the comment section what USB board you have, guys. I'm just curious to know. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Exploited System. And I'm out, guys. Peace.